channel. So I've already worked on this page off screen and I've used most of the Faber Castell Albert Jurors and the Brute Furnace for this and then I did Prismacolor on the little pumpkins. There is already a tutorial of these pumpkins so I'll link that somewhere up here or in the description but this is Hannah Cows on Seasons and mainly I want to do the background. I'm quite happy with everything else on the page. I'm not even going to attempt to do her strokes on that cat. I'm not messing it up because I am quite pleased with how that's turned out. So I've pulled my little trait of neutral tones. And let's just pick some colours. So, what is this? Not all of them are going to be able to read the colours because as you can see I've pulled them off to sharpen them. So I'm not going to know every single colour. I do apologise. Maybe I'll, I'll choose the ones that I can see the colours. So this is raw sienna, this one. And then we've got olive brown. I do want a touch of red in there. So what's this one? Crimson al al alazarin. She. You know I can't pronounce half of the things. So that's what that is. Um, a black. Is this a bl is this the black? This is charcoal grey. But I've got a black in case I do want to darken it up even more. And then maybe just one more the olive I think that is I can just about make it out olive so the way that I'm going to use these you can scribble them right onto the the page and I'll be honest I've not done that in a in a long long time so I'm going to use my Caran Dash palette scribble the crayons onto here activate them with water which that's the only thing that I've not got ready I've not got the water but I'll be able to use the water out of there so let's just get scribbling. Now I have a tendency of using too much of this. I always end up putting too much down. So let's just start off with a little and we can always add. I don't think I want to bring the, the background all the way. I want it more focused in the middle and then coming out to about here maybe. That's my idea anyway. It's been raining all morning, it looks like the sun's just breaking through now. So that's our five colours. I'm using a mixture of aqua brushes, different brands. This is just a Caran Dash one and I've got some Zig ones, I've got some non-branded ones which I will pull that one out. And this is just a Crest for All, but it's quite a stiff brush that if I'm having to struggle, struggle, uh, struggle in blending them out, I'll use this maybe. So let's activate the crayons. I use my mop brush because that'll pick up more water. And I think I want to do this in layers. So very thin layers and then building up as we go. That's the idea anyway. We'll go with this non-branded one. It just came in a pack of um, aqua, not aqua brushes, like watercolour brushes this. So it's just a non-branded one. But I do find with uh, neo colours, sometimes I'm quite rough with the brush. So I don't really want to be using me really nice watercolour brushes because there is a chance that I'll, I'll damage them that way. So we'll start off with this brown. Now play with me because I've not used these in a long, long time, like I said. So this might be a big disaster, <laughs> but we'll see, hopefully not. So I'm gonna put these colors down randomly and tap it with my finger, just like so. It is gonna go to through a messy stage before it starts to, to look pretty. I'm adding more water as well here. Be a bit more careful around her face. Bring this colour out as well. And I will have to be careful because I've used Albert Jurors on a lot of this. Oh, I feel a sneeze. Oh, bless me. Oh, not another one. I think that was going to wear. <laughs> There's nothing worse than when you need to sneeze and it goes away. 
up. Don't pull the colour up too much. That's not what I want to do here. And it's going to look very, very, very messy at this stage. So while that's drying, let's move over to this bit. More water, more water. And the dogs next door are blessing me with her presence. So you'll just have to ignore that. I'm getting over it now. So I won't keep saying it in nearly every video. So bring this colour up here as well. We need more water. I do like it quite watered down. Blend it into this one. I do apologise if you don't want to see loads and loads of Halloween pictures, but you know what? I am really, really already in the mood of Halloween. I can't wait to dress my daughter up and take her out trick or treating. I'm looking forward to that. So let's be a bit bold here and add a little bit of the black. Well, it was grey, wasn't it? The charcoal grey. I can feel my nose running now because I sneezed. No. We need more water. So these crayons do go a long way. I've never had to replace one of these uh, crayons. Not yet, anyway. There's not really any that are really, really low. So even though they are a little bit more expensive, these, I think they're worth it, I really do. So if you went straight ahead with the crayon onto the paper, it is going to be more pigmented. But I just like doing it this way in layers. I just find that I can control it a little bit better. And the outcome just, it, it just is better for me. It works better for me. Or even more, my belly is rumbling. It's nowhere near dinner time. So let's add a bit of the red. More water. You'd think I've not eaten in ages. I've had breakfast this morning. I had boiled, not boiled eggs, scrambled egg for my breakfast. I don't know why it's going in overdrive and telling me that it's hungry. Let's move back to this side. Oh, we went collecting conkers as well. We went collecting conkers at the weekend when we was out on one of the walks. Well, I ended up collecting the conkers. There was a tree hanging right over the main road and then right on the edge of one of the tree branches, a little squirrel. And we were just stood there at the main road pointing up and you can see everyone in the cars driving past as if it's uh, what they're looking at. And it was a squirrel. But I was petrified that it was going to fall down and I was going to witness that. I'm not going to worry too much about this. If I was doing this in pencil I'd attempt to do a really cool like, lit up effect. But I'm not about that today. I'm not about that. Want something easy to do and just stress free. And that that uh, sneeze has made my nose run. I was reading something on the news that they were saying, due to obviously people isolating, the the cold and flu bugs and stuff haven't managed to to be as bad. But now it's coming out and, and all its force, and I feel like it's only a matter of time before my family come down with it. I've already got one down with it, but she's recovering now. 
and she does need antibiotics but once she gets them then she'll be fine but i've got the feeling you know you know that you're getting ill you can just you can just tell so if i go missing off social media for a little bit you know why i've got sick because i can definitely feel it coming on If you just dab it with your finger, it just adds to that sort of messy look. Oh, do you like the green skin as well? I don't often do green skin, but I, I thought while well, she's a witch, I'd go with the green. So what I'm going to do now is I just want to leave that to completely dry. I'll only leave it at five or ten minutes or so and then come back and then do a second layer. So now that that's almost dry, I want to say bring you away because I don't even know if I was in all frame then I was chattering away anyway let's add more of these colours and I can put a little bit more pigment down this time now that I've got nearly now that I've got a better idea of what I'm go where I'm going and then lastly the black oh no we've got the green at the top of them we're missing that one out let's activate these Just like that. And same thing as last time. But I'm not going to water it down as much this time. So can you see why I said I like using my older ones? Because if I was doing this with, with my really nice watercolour brushes, there's a chance that I could damage them. In with the black, Just try and be as careful as I can around the, the edges. So now that that's almost dry I want to say bring you away because I don't even know if I was in all frame then I was chattering away anyway let's add more of these colours and I can put a little bit more pigment down this time now that I've got nearly now that I've got a better idea of what I'm go where I'm going and then lastly the black oh no we've got the green at the top of them we're missing that one out activate these just like that and same thing as last time but I'm not going to water it down as much this time So can you see why I said I like using my older ones because if I was doing this with with my really nice watercolour brushes there's a chance that I could damage them. So in with the black. Just try and be as careful as I can around the, the edges. Sorry, I just have to pause there a minute. The doctor had run me back. So, sorted now anyway. We're going to try out with something else. Because obviously this is an ongoing issue. So, I'll try with something else. And it's just started raining again. And luckily, I just let the dogs back in. I was placing the colour down. And dabbing around. A little bit more here. I want it to be quite pigmented with the red here. 
so it contrasts with the green of her skin just be careful yeah so it contrasts with it with her skin a little bit we need a little bit down here Was it that colour? Raw Sienna. I was in an area where I wanted to go out for my walk. As I said before, it looks like the sun's coming out. But I'm glad that I changed my mind. I would have been really annoyed if I got myself sorted and set out and then this started. So more of the, the black. I just want this to be quite subtle like it what I mean is I don't want it to be all about the background I want it to be about about the pumpkin and the witch that I've done but just adding a little bit of colour just a little bit of something and this is super duper easy to do in the look of it I don't want to add any glitter or anything to this page I thought about using some glossy accents on this but no I just want to keep it as it is I'm, I'm happy with with how it's turned out I always say it but that's one of my problems is that I meddle too much when sometimes it doesn't need meddling with it's perfect as it is That's it, I'm not going to mess around with that anymore and I've done well, I've used most of the pigment and all that looks like a lot but it really isn't, it's watered down, really really watered down so I'll put that to one side and give it a clean. The doctor ringing me back, <laughs> you don't hear from them in so long and then you get two phone calls in the space of 10 minutes but yeah I'm happy with her, I could go ahead and add more pigment and more pigment but like I said I don't want it to be about the background. The whole point of this is just to add a little bit of colour, a little bit of something and I don't want to overdo it with this page because I am really really happy with how it's turned out. But thank you very very much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed listening to the downpour right at the side of me. Uh, yeah I'm, I think I'm in for this for the full day. So I will see you in the next one, bye! Yeah.